Good evening, everyone. Thank you for joining us. I have Marcy New with Alma Waterways. She's going to tell us all about their river cruising. Um, and take it away, Marcy. Thank you so much, Erin. Thank you, everyone, for joining us this evening. We appreciate your time, and I hope you will enjoy our journey. Um, my, I have a couple of goals this evening, and that is to really share with you why sailing with Alma Waterways is different than all of the other river lines. And I want to show you some new itineraries in some of the beautiful cities that we visit. Um, I have a tendency to talk with my hands, so I'm going to take myself off the camera so I'm not distracting to you. But again, thank you. And if you have any questions, please type them in chat or in questions, and we'll, I'll be happy to answer those as we go along or at the end. Thank you so much. We'll get started. Okay. So we are the heart of the river at Alma Waterways. Uh, the rivers are the only uh, bodies of water that we travel. So we are strictly a river line. And that's very important to know because then we can perfect our ships according to the different rivers in the world. Uh, and what I mean by that is we do not do anything on the oceans. One of the most important things, especially after this past year when we've all been at home and not been able to vacation, is the fact that, and when the pandemic first came out, it was uh, very important that we share with our guests, since we did suspend in 2020, uh, and we've suspended a little bit this year in 2021, um, for you to note that when you put your vacation dollars with us, they are extremely safe. And what I mean by that is we are a debt-free company. So all of our ships are paid for. We have been here for almost 19 years and we will be here for many, many more. So uh, one of the reasons I mentioned that is because we did have to suspend sailings. We moved a lot of our guests into the summer and fall of this year and into 2022 and 2023. So when you are looking at your river vacation, it is not ever too early to book. The ships are filling very quickly because the ships are very small and we've had to reaccommodate so many guests. So we are a family owned and operated company. We started in 2002. Rudy, uh, our initiating founder, along with Christine Karst and the Murphy family. But Rudy really makes us very special in the river marketplace. And that is by trade, he is an architect. He's from Vienna, Austria. He is the only river executive that has ever been placed in the Cruise Line Hall of Fame. And that is for his innovation. He's known as the godfather of the rivers because of his design and innovation on the build of our ships, very different than any other river line, making our ships more shallow at the draw than any river line. And what that means to you as a guest is very important. And that is that rivers come three ways. They come uh, perfect, of course, we would love for Mother Nature to always give us a perfect river with perfect water. But it doesn't happen. Sometimes we have high water, sometimes low water. And as you can imagine, the biggest challenge is the low water situation. So in 2018, we had the lowest waters we'd had in about 18 years on the Rhine and the Danube. And we were the only river line on any of the rivers in Europe that had absolutely no cancellations. We operated our ships on the Rhine River in 11 inches of water, if you can imagine. So we are very, very proud of Rudy and what he brings different to us than any other river line. Christine Karst is from Germany and she has a dual degree in tourism. She has a lengthy and extreme amount of travel knowledge, but not only that, she is very involved with our onboard experience and our advisors that are global. And then we have the Murphy family. And the Murphy family used to own Brendan Worldwide Tours or Brendan Worldwide Vacations. And they sold that company. They did some of the very first touring from the U.S. to uh, Europe to their home country of Ireland. And um, they came on board with Rudy and Christine really bringing a wealth of knowledge in how to package these style vacations, really giving you options along the way. One of the things very important for me to tell you is I know through the pandemic, everybody wonders what's going on, who's 
why, you know, why is everything not operating yet? So on and so forth. So we are the only river line that operated during COVID. We had over 1,800 guests. We started July 5th and we ended our sailings the first week of November. We sailed on the Rhine River and we actually contracted with a tour operator out of Germany known as Ehoi. And he carried 100 guests with us, almost 100 guests every single week. And um, so these were the protocols we had in place. Our crew members wore face coverings at all times. Our guests wore face coverings only to leave their stateroom and to go to their destination, which might have been the restaurant, the lounge area, or out to take their tour. In addition uh, to that, we did temperature checks. So when they were leaving their stateroom in the morning, we checked their temperature. And when they returned to, their, uh, to the ship in the afternoons after their tours, we checked their temperature again. And then we did the same off and on throughout the day with all of our crew members. Then we have what we call a clean air system on these ships, which is very different than the large ships that you may be familiar with. But we have an air system in every single area of our ship, meaning every single stateroom has a separate air system, every hallway, every restaurant, every um, every lounge area, any anywhere that we have different areas on the ship, it has its own air system. So what it's doing is it's pulling the air from outside, recycling it only in that small area, the stateroom, the restaurant, and then sending it straight back outside. So it is not recycling through the ship, which is a wonderful way to be able to control you know, some of the viruses that pass through the ship by air. And um, exploring ashore, we've always had some of the smallest groups ashore, which would be about 20 to 22 people. We now are doing 12 to 14. So that's really perfect because you have your own guide and you can really immerse yourself in what they're telling you and get to know them well. And then social distancing is not a problem for us. We have a lot of space per guest. Um, on our 135 meter ships, which is the majority of our fleet, we only carry approximately 160 guests. Some of our competitors on that same size ship will carry 192. So we have a lot more uh, distance uh, for everyone to spread out, if you will. And then sanitize luggage. We sanitize the luggage upon arrival at the ship, and then we sanitize it again before it is delivered to the staterooms. So we did uh, carry about 1,800 guests, and we had absolutely no incidents on board. So I want to just talk a little bit about the rivers that we cover. And this is going to be the Danube River, taking you all the way from the Netherlands, all the way down through the Mine Canal, all the way to the very bottom of the Danube. This is the longest, largest river in Western Europe. It has more embarkation and debarkation ports than any other river. This river also offers a nice amount of war history, if that's something you're interested in. This river, the topography of this river is magnificent. It is very mountainous. It is very green. It is very lush. It has more palaces than the other rivers, but it also has a nice scattering of, of castles um, that you can enjoy along the route. We also then have the second most popular river, which runs a very close tie to the Danube, being the Rhine River. And this river is going to take you from the Netherlands all the way down into Switzerland um, or vice versa. And I have to tell you, upstream or downstream in a river does not matter. Either way, you're going to see the same things and you're going to have a very comfortable ride. Remember, it's a river, not an ocean, so we can always see the sides of land along the way. But this river is really noted for its castles. Again, it has war history, right, because we're covering a lot of Germany. But right in this area, we do something called the Rhine Gorge. It's about a 40-mile journey, and it's got 26 different castles that we experience all along that route. And it is a, a very, um, it's a lush uh, topography as well, but not quite as lush as the Danube. It's a little rockier, if you will, with the mountainous region. Then you come over here, and you have the Seine River. And the Seine River is known as the River of the arts. We visit Givornay, so we visit Monet's home, Monet's gardens. You have some Van Gogh influence in this area, and you have a beautiful couple beautiful port cities, Hanfleur and La Havre. And then we go do the beaches of Normandy. Very important, um, we do a private ceremony on the beaches of Normandy for our guests, and we're the only river line that does that. 
And we have a new itinerary here that I'll talk about a little bit later. Then we have, this is Magnificence in itself and the old world part of France. This is the Garonne Estuary coming off the Atlantic Ocean onto the Garonne and the Dordogne rivers. And this is known as Bordeaux. So we all know Bordeaux with the old world wines. And with this also, as with all the other rivers, you can do some land extensions down here into Spain. Then we have a very unique river down here called the Duro, and this is viewing of Portugal and Spain. This area is quite different. The infrastructure of Portugal is quite different than the other areas of Europe because, you know, we throughout the other countries really train travel is their number one way to travel. And Portugal just got its first high speed train in 2019. So um, just a little bit of different infrastructure there. But the Douro region was actually created about 2000 years ago with the explosion of a volcano. And it really made this uh, a very steep river. So it's very, it's straight up these mountains. So this is the only river where we don't offer bicycling. You would have to literally push the bike up and hold it, hold on to it coming down. Um, but this region is known for the white grape. And this region is also known for the finest port wines in the world. Um, this region is known for the growth of cork, shoemaking, and jewelry. Then you come over here to the Rhone. The Rhone River is a very masculine river. It's very wide. We call it a man river, if you will, because it is masculine. You get to see or board in Arles. Again, you can see part of Spain with this and get off in Lyon uh, or vice versa. You can go upstream or downstream. We see a lot of small, beautiful little villages, but this is the area of France where you see all the beautiful pictures of the lavender fields. And during the blooming of the lavender in this area, as you can imagine, the landscape is breathtaking. We also have the sunflowers blooming. So if you can imagine, it's just absolutely breathtaking. Then we are starting a new itinerary up the zone, which I'll talk a little bit more about in a bit. But also note that this is one of the number one places in the world for gastronomy. And you may be familiar with the Cote de Rhone wines. That's where these infamous wines are raised, many, many different types of grapes. Then you come up here to uh, the Mosul River. And the Mosul River, for me to describe it, is like describing a Disney book. It is one of the most beautiful rivers. It is actually a, a very short river, but we call her very much a lady. She is very narrow and winds around the mountains. Absolutely beautiful. The colored little villages at the water's edge, and you look up and there is just a splatter of these most magnificent castles you can ever imagine. Because this river is a smaller river, we combine it with the Mine Canal and the Rhine River or the Mine Canal and the Danube. And this enables us to offer you 7, 10, and 11 day sailings. And then we come up here to our exotic destinations. And this one is Egypt, of course. And we are on the Nile River. I'm very excited about this. This is the first time that we've ever been on the Nile. We will start our service in September of this year. And we'll talk more about that as we go. But one of the most important things I think as well about the Nile is we have some amazing pre and post options. Being Israel, Jordan, and Dubai in the United Arab Emirates. So you've got lots of really neat features there as well. And then we come over here to Southeast Asia. And this would be Vietnam and Cambodia with the option of Thailand. And you know, so often, um, we, I, you know, it's never really on our bucket list, but I, I have to tell you, these, these journeys in these three exotic destinations are life-changing in the most positive way. I have been very blessed. I have been to these areas, and I will tell you, they're, um, it's very difficult to describe them because they're so, so life-changing in so many different ways. And the people of these countries are absolutely beautiful and very, very peaceful people. Very happy to have us. Then we do Africa. Not too often do people think about Africa on a 
River. But you have the Chobe River right here. It is a 5,000 acre conservatory. Uh, it was originally created for the preservation of the African elephant. Today, there's about 123,000 of those located in this area. The Chobe River is also one of the only spring fed rivers in Africa, which means that it never goes dry. So the wildlife came in here. They're very protective. There's no poaching, no killing. And so they just continue to multiply. And every type of animal that you can imagine can be found in the Chobe region. So you've got five different options for Africa. And if Africa is an option for you overall, I really hope you'll do it sooner than later because it does take some mobility. So why would you want to cruise with AMA waterways? Let me tell you. AMA, um, we've known, we are known, as I mentioned, for our small group excursions, our guided excursions. We break them down by ability. So there's gentle walkers, regular and active walkers. And none of them go at an uncomfortable pace. If the gentle walkers, uh, they take their time, they stop when they like, they're still getting the history and getting to see these beautiful little villages and regions along the way. The regular walkers pick up the pace a little bit and the active walkers are going to see all of the sites. We have have also what we call late risers and these are folks that maybe want to sleep in another hour I have to be totally honest I have never seen this group of people leave because I go on the early ones and the early ones don't start until nine o'clock so our late risers start their morning at ten o'clock very important to Christine, one of our owners, and that is wellness. So often in today's world, we find that our guests include a wellness routine every day. And so we wanted to bring that to the river and we did just that with a wellness host uh, available on every single ship with the exception of Africa. And they do f uh, five different classes per day, ranging from 30 to 45 minutes. And there'll be anything like yoga, cardio, uh, core stretching, Zumba, and they really make it a lot of fun. Um, they do some yoga and champagne tasting. They do a little bit of core stretching and chocolate tasting. So these classes are totally complimentary. You are not required to sign up for these classes. You can just show up for these classes and you're uh, always welcome. And then dining. No one goes on a vacation to have less than the finest of dining. In 2014, uh, Le Chien Road de Sur, which is a very uh, prestigious French culinary society, boarded 240 river ships and came back and Alma Waterways was the only one that they inducted into their society for the experience. And it means palatability, presence, preparation, freshness, all of these things. And we're very, very proud to have this award. Um, we have several dining venues on these ships. You have a main restaurant as well as the chef's table, which is a private dining area. Everyone gets the opportunity to enjoy. Uh, everything is sourced fresh and locally. We do not have storage space on the ships because they are so small. And the other thing to note is that every day your menu will change based on the region that we're traveling. In addition to that, the wines will change to be paired with the regional foods. So I call it an explosion of culinary satisfaction. So you are really getting what the local people get to have each and every day. And of course, if you are that person that maybe isn't as adventurous at the table, we always have you know, something from the US for you to pick from as well. I hope you'll try though the regional favorites. And then we can accommodate dietary restrictions also. So in the mornings, we offer you with breakfast, uh, sparkling wines or fresh mimosas. At lunch, we have the wines in the main dining room also that change every day with international beers. And of course, always including iced teas, lemonades, mineral waters, coffee, you know, anything like that that you would like to have. We also have coffee cafes on board the ships. We have them in the uh, chef's table restaurant as well as in the main uh, lounge area. These are available to you 24 hours a day and they carry uh, cappuccinos, lattes, espressos, hot chocolates, international tea stations also. 
In addition to your lunch uh, wines and, and beers in the evenings, we have the same and they'll be paired to the region. And then an hour before dinner, we also offer you an open bar selection uh, for anyone who maybe wants to experience something a little different. So here's our chef's table or the private restaurant. It only accommodates 24 to 28 guests and everything is prepared all a minute or all at the moment on each plate for each guest. So very beautiful. It's a nine course meal, again, paired with the different wines and it is absolutely exceptional. There is absolutely no cost to this venue. And you make these reservations when you get on board. And now I wanna talk with you about a few of the new itineraries, pointing out some really fantastic land excursions and river excursions that we've added. So this year new is Rhine Castles and Swiss Alps. It's been very, very popular. So the Rhine River, as I mentioned, runs from Amsterdam all the way down into Basel, Switzerland, or vice versa, upstream or downstream. The wonderful part of this is right over here is Italy. And we have included Lake Como, so not only do you get four countries along the Rhine River, but you can also then, we're going to motor coach through the small country of Switzerland and stop in Lucerne in the Lake District. And I must tell you, this is a Lake District nestled in the Alps and it is breathtaking. Then we're gonna take you on to Lake Como, which as we know is one of the uh, most affluent resort areas in the world. And then we've got the best of Holland and Belgium. So Holland and Belgium and the Belgium waterways, we <clears throat> excuse me, normally only operate our ships in the tulip season, which is going to be the third week of March through the first week of May. Well, all of our past guests said, gosh, we'd like to see Holland and Belgium at a different time. So we said, OK, great. So we have added six sailings this year all throughout the sailing season. So you can go every month to this area. This area is uh, a very, very beautiful area. It is a very cultured area. It is, this is where the Delft factory is, which is the porcelain made in this area. But we do some really fun things, like we do a private cheese and beer tasting. This area is known for some wines, but a lot of beers, uh, and known for its cheese all over the world. We do a beer and cheese tasting in a private windmill, if you can imagine, which is just one of the many things that we offer on this particular itinerary. And then we have another one called uh, Essence of Burgundy in Provence. And remember I told you this is the area where the lavender fields in France? Well, this is the Rhone and the Rhone and the Saone River meet right here at Lyon. And the Saone River, we have never sailed before until this year. And the Saone River, remember the Rhone River is very masculine. It's wide, it's got a little bit of industry. The Saone River, as you can see right here, is a very narrow river, a very much a lady river. She's very curvy with lots of history, no industry at all. And we take you all the way up into Dijon, France, which yes, is where the mustard fields are. Very, very beautiful area. But whether you're going upstream or downstream, you will board or disembark the ship at chalon sur saone This city was established in 179 AD. So you can imagine the history. This city has one of the largest photography museums in the world with over 2 million artifacts. But the really fun thing about this itinerary is that now we're including Switzerland on this as well, down all the way. And you can also include Spain and Montserrat. So you can really do three different countries and see this beautiful area of France. And remember, this is one of the number one areas for gastronomy in the world. And then we come over here to the Impressions of the Seine and Paris. And the Impressions of the Seine in Paris, currently we do a Paris, Le Havre, back to Paris. This one will go Paris, Le Havre will come down here to St. Malo, which uh, I'll show you a picture of, but it's known as the Emerald Coast. And then we're going to take you into Mont Saint Michel. Well, this beautiful picture right here is Mont Saint Michel. This is one of the three largest abbeys in France. It was built from the 11th through the 16th century. There's about 55 people that live on this island and we get to go explore this amazing architecture and this amazing structure with so much history in that extension. 
Then we are going on to see Egypt. As I mentioned, Egypt and the Nile. As I said, Israel, Jordan, and Dubai in the United Arab Emirates are your options for pre and post packaging. But you come in here and we fly into Cairo and we visit all the temples and all the pyramids in the Giza area. We come down to Luxor, we go on to the Nile River all the way down to Aswan. You have the option of going to Abu Simbel, which is some of the oldest temples, oldest history Egypt has. And then you come back up, we come back to Luxor, we fly back to Cairo, and then you go from there, whether you go home or whether you go on to one of the other excursions. So this is an 11 night program. And this, uh, I wanted to show you these beautiful pictures of Egypt. Egypt is fabulous. So much, so much history in this area. And this is the beautiful Amadelia. This is the ship that is currently under construction. She will only hold 68 guests. So it is a very small ship. This will be one of the high-end luxury ships. There are very few that are available on the Nile. So we're very, very excited about this. And I wanted to show you just a little bit about. So when, if you've never been with Alma Waterways, we are always um, very in tune with the history of the river for which the ship will sail. So these plates, beautiful, beautifully collected throughout the villages that the Nile offers, but you're seeing a lot of what you see locally. So um, a lot of outdoor space, a lot of uh, outdoor dining, keeping in mind, this is a very tropical area that really only receives about 10 inches of water a year of rain. So I wanted to show you also the 135 meter ships that are based all throughout Europe. And this is along the Rhine. Remember I said it was a little bit more rocky. And then of course, this is one of the castles as you see along the Rhine Gorge. So just giving you an idea, we have really pioneered um, the design of the double balconied stateroom and or the twin balconied staterooms were the only ones that have them. So you have French balconies, which is where the doors open up, beautiful viewing of the river, you just don't step out. Then you come over here to the twin balconies where you have a French balcony right here. And then you come over here and you have a step out balcony with tables and chairs. Beautiful part of this is you can close the door behind you so you can control the temperature in your stateroom. Here's a, an idea of the suites and the suites on the majority of our 135 meter ships uh, have the ability to hold the triples and the quads. And so does the twin balcony accommodation. So we are the only ones on the river that allow triple and quad occupancy. With the ships that have this, which are the majority, also have what we call adjoining cabins, which is right here. And this is, you're seeing a, a walkway here from one stateroom to the other. So really offering you some beautiful time with friends or family, but then closing everyone off and having your privacy. And then we have what we call the fixed window staterooms, and these would be located on the lower decks. Beautiful thing to note is that every uh, stateroom on a river has a river view. So our travel trend oftentimes is from ocean to river, especially after the pandemic, people are looking for a more intimate experience. And so we, we offer that in many, many ways. But this particular ship is only one of its kind in the world. Uh, on any river, and this is known as the Ama Magna. The Ama Magna joined us in 2019, in May of 2019, the first ever of its build. Uh, we cannot build our ships longer than a hundred, um, 135 meters because they can't clear the lock system in Europe. So we um, have this ship, it is double the width of any other river ship offering um, the stateroom starting at 355 square feet, going all the way to 710. Four restaurant choices, swimming pools on the top deck with the hot tub area, which by the way, we have swimming pools on all of our 135 meter ships and we have extended hot tub areas on the 110 meter ships. So you've always got some type of an outdoor water experience if that's what you choose. Um, then this gives you an idea. So you see, <laughs> you see over here, 
a much smaller vessel tied to the beautiful Ama Magna. So you can see the distance of the Magna here being twice the width of any other river ship and enabling us to really offer um, the larger staterooms as well as the many restaurants as well as the largest wellness facility on board any river ship. So here's your four restaurants. I just wanted to show you this one actually alfresco is one of everyone's favorite. These uh, partitions come down and you'll be dining outdoors so you can dine outdoors on the river. Uh, here's our main restaurant. Here is Jimmy's which is another family style type restaurant but we're not serving family style anymore. So just a, a nice area if you've got a lot of friends or would like to meet some new people. And then the chef's table holds only 36 people and that's a nine course dinner uh, paired with all the wines like everywhere else. This is the balcony suite. Over 60% of this ship has 355 square feet. This just gives you an idea of the very spacious staterooms. And then this is the open air sun deck where we have a pop up uh, bar facility. Um, and here is the pool area with the hot tub back here. So you've got both options. On all of our ships, we have plenty of seating on the open air deck. All of our ships have the open air deck. Uh, as I mentioned, all of the 135 meter ships have the swimming pool options. So a minute ago, I talked to you about the impressions of the Seine in Paris. So um, I wanted to put this picture in here just because it's hard to describe St. Malo. Uh, St. Malo is known as the pirate capital of the world. This is where I showed you the picture of Mont St. Michel. But the pirate capital of the world is known as the pirate capital of the world because in the Roman, uh, the ruling of the Roman kings, the pirates came and were very destructive and the, the kings had to figure out how to get the pirates to be their friends so that they would protect the island. So they invited them to the island instead of them taking over and then they were very protective of the island. But it's absolutely beautiful. It's on the big water as I call it right on the Emerald Coast. And then in 2022, we are adding yet another land program for Nice and Monaco on the essence of Burgundy and Provence, which we just reviewed a moment ago. So you've got the option here of some of the bigger bodies of water as well. So you can do the river, but then you can also do some of the destinations on the ocean. And another thing very important in 2022, that is a first time uh, offering in 10 years, and that is Floriad. Floriad is the largest horticultural expo in the world. And we offer a ticket and passage to every one of our guests that are on any of our itineraries that visit Amsterdam. So not only do you get all the flowers, but you also get Floriad, and it is breathtaking. There is a limited amount of, of passenger tickets that are issued each day, and we obviously have that all taken care of for our guests. And it's actually in Almir, the Netherlands, which is just a small little village right outside of Amsterdam. We are offering as well over 60 wine cruises each and every year. I believe next year, 64. And what these are is we have a host that comes from another vineyard. About 95% of them are from the US. So it might be Washington, Oregon, California. Uh, we've got some from Texas, believe it or not. We've got some very nice uh, wineries in Texas. And they are going to come on board and do a lecture series, bringing their domestic wines with them. And then in addition to all of the other tours we offer you, which are up to six a day per village or city, depending upon the size of the village or city, you will also have the opportunity to go to the vineyards and the old world cellars, some of them over a thousand years old, and do the tastings. So... And then, uh, oh, uh, we never want to forget our solo travelers. Uh, we are very, um, very in tune with the fact that sometimes we don't have someone to travel with. We don't want you not to come to the river. This is extremely important. Uh, but we do not charge the 200% for the majority of our staterooms. And especially through the end of 2021, we're offering balconied staterooms at only an additional 25%. Uh, normally, we would offer 125% on the lower level staterooms and 150% on the balconies. So what's new in 2023? I know you think I'm crazy. I'm taking you all the way to 2023, but let me tell you, we are booking fast. 
So we have two new itineraries, the celebration of classical music on the Danube and the, mat, the majestic capitals of the Danube. Two new land packages for us. Uh, yes, we visit Salzburg already, but we do not spend an overnight in Salzburg. So we're going to do Krakow, Poland, and we're going to do Salzburg. And our new sailing season, we're going to offer something new for the Christmas markets. Now the Christmas markets run from the third week of November through the first week of December. And, or excuse me, the third week of November through the third week of December, so sorry. And, um, and now we're going to do it for the first time ever on the lower Danube. So this will be visiting the countries of Hungary, Serbia, Croatia, Romania, and Bulgaria. So an absolutely first time for that. And we're very, very excited about it because they celebrate the holidays as well as the Upper Danube does. So the celebrations of classical music, this is going to be Budapest to Vienna or reverse. We can, you can see with these uh, specialty type sailings, we are adding a lot of music components. So if this is something you're interested in, please, please get with Erin and she can tell you what the sale dates are and which one might be the best for you. This is something very, very new for us. That's why I included it. Most of our sailings or all of our sailings currently are going to be 7, 10, 11, or 14 days. And of course, we can match up. If you want to see France, you could see all three rivers in France and they would coincide with each other. But we are doing a five-night sailing which is the majestic capitals on the Danube. So we'll be spending a couple of days in uh, Budapest, a couple of days in Bratislava, and then on to Vienna, and a couple of days in Vienna, again, offering Poland and Austria as your land extensions. Now, this is one of the most amazing things. Look at these beautiful lavender fields, which I was telling you uh, that are along the Saone and the Rhone rivers in France. But the biggest journey here is we decided to come up, uh, Ama again, known for our innovation. We decided to come up with something where you could see all of Europe on every river, calling it our world tour of Europe. And here it is, 14 countries, seven rivers, 46 nights. I must also tell you that it sold out quite quickly. So we have implemented a second one in 2023. This one is in the summertime. We have uh, implemented a spring sailing and rumor has it, well, it's already at almost 70% occupied that we are looking at a fall sailing to offer you. So you um, have the opportunity almost uh, that, uh, that we change up a few of the things on them, but for the most part, all of them have seven rivers, the Seine, the Rhone, the Seine, the Rhine, the Mosul, the Mine, and the Danube, and they all have 14 countries. So um, just giving you an idea, they all have four ships, and of course, then we have some land extensions on either end. So what's included, Alma Waterways is knows, known for our cruise managers. We are the only river line that has a cruise manager that travels with you land, river, land. What that means is let's just say you're on the Danube. I'm gonna tell you don't miss the city of Prague in the Czech Republic, it's magnificent. And so we're gonna pick you up at the airport. Your cruise manager is going to be there at your hotel and they are going to travel your entire journey with you answering questions, exchanging currency. There's never a language barrier. They will do anything you need them to do to make sure that you have a seamless vacation and we provide the five-star level of service that we are known for. And this is also what takes place on the 46-day river cruises. Something very, very important, and I, I think this is so important. This is a travel waiver plus or travel with a peace of mind. This is uh, coverage for any reason of cancellation up to 24 hours prior to the start of your Alma Waterways services. Now, um, this is basically we offer you a future cruise credit valid for 24 months, and we will just move your money to the next sale date that you choose. Okay, so your investment is protected for a very nominal fee of $175. And then if you choose to purchase our vacation protection plan, which is if you thought for any reason you might need a refund rather than just a future cruise credit, you can get the information about the protection plan from Aaron. 
And there you are. There is the lady that has all your answers. She's an amazing advisor. She has spent many, many hours and many days and weeks and months and years educating herself on all the different places in the world to make sure she provides you a service that is second to none. And Erin can also give you advice on the different rivers uh, so that you, she can certainly direct you so that we are able to exceed your expectation. Now, let me see, we're almost done. So I wanna see if anyone has any questions. No, no questions. Doesn't look like we have any questions. If you've got a question, please feel free to type it in. I'll wait just a second. Okay, I don't see any. So I will put myself back on camera. And I want to thank Erin for inviting me this evening and having me to join you. I so am so grateful that you all spent your time with us tonight. And I hope as we went through all those beautiful destinations, you found the perfect one for you to join us on the rivers very soon. Erin? Thank you so much, Marcy. I don't know how anybody's going to narrow it down. It's all so wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> it is. It is. Thank you, everyone, for joining us. And if you have any questions, you know how to reach me. Uh, text, phone, email. Um, yeah, that's how you reach me. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thanks, everyone. Have a great evening. Bye. Bye.